Embedding YouTube videos is easy, but why not make them standards compliant? We can do this using the tool Swift Objects 2.0. We'll start by going to the Swift Object project page at code.google.com slash p slash Swift Object. The files we'll be using are located in Swift Object under bar 2 under bar o dot zip. Download this file onto your computer into the directory of your choice. Next, we'll unzip the file. I use Stepit Expander, but you may use another tool if you're on a Windows machine. Once your files have been unzipped, you can upload swiftobject.js to your web server using FTP or your protocol of choice. In this case, I'm using FTP and the Macintosh program Fetch to transfer the file to my directory. To embed a file, we'll start by going to the YouTube page for the file we want to embed on our site. Here we'll copy the embed code and paste it into a blank file. We're not actually going to be using the code that YouTube has provided us, but we'll want to use this for reference purposes. Note that the link in our code has an ampersand in it. We'll need to escape this code to make it standards compliant, so we'll do that by typing AMP semicolon after it. Now we'll copy this link and go to the Swift Object Generator page. Here we'll paste that link into the box to the right of flash.swift. Next we'll determine whether we want to use static or dynamic publishing. In this case we're using static. Now we'll put our, the dimensions of our actual file into the dimensions box. Select the type of HTML that you're using, in this case we'll choose Transitional XHTML, and your character encode. If you wish to define additional attributes, simply click on More and select any of the parameters you choose. In this case, we'll simply adjust the window and make it opaque. To complete this part of the process, click the Generate Code button. We'll use this code to embed in our files. Copy the script code from the code that we've been provided. Next, we'll go to our HTML document and paste this code in the header. Now we'll return to the generator page to grab the code that we'll be using to embed the video itself. Select the object code and copy it. Next, we'll return to our HTML file. Here we'll paste the code into the place in the page where we want the video to appear. Now we'll save our file and upload it to our website.
Now that our work is done, it's time to watch our video. If the video works, we only have one more thing to check. As the point of this project was to create a standards compliant page, we'll now check our site using the W3C Markup Validation Service. Congratulations! The page is valid and you can now go on to your other projects. For more information on this or related topics, visit the web development blog at blog.case.edu/webdev.